Hi everybody, thanks for stopping in today. Today we are doing Stitch Fix. I have some try-ons and I have some additional purchases to share with you. Stitch Fix technically isn't a subscri subscription box, but I think it is because it's a box that I can get frequently each month. Once I send one back, they start working on the next. Yeah, you could say every month, every other month, you could skip, you know, all that. But I get one or two boxes a month. So for me, it's a monthly subscription box. Women, men, and kids boxes. Um, there is a $20 styling fee per box. That is a, a credit. If you keep something, if you send all items back, then you forfeit the styling fee. I have the style pass, so I do not pay the style fee. Buy what you love, send the rest back. I love that you can try it on with the clothing that you have in your home. See if it works with something else. If you're looking for something specific, like for a cult, you know, to stay in the same color store, you have that item with you instead of being at the store where you really don't. Um, you get a prepaid envelope, which I have right here. Send back what you don't want in that envelope. You have three days to decide. You can extend it. I don't think, except maybe in the very beginning, almost four years ago, I always extend it by a week or two. I cannot get to this box as fast as some, but... Um, like this has been sitting here a week. Um, so, and I was waiting for the other items to come also. So you can extend it. You go into the checkout process. You don't actually check out, but right below that gives you the time to extend, you know, a few days, a week. So, you know, I think you can't extend it beyond 30 days. You might have to contact them if you want to. Keep all five items, receive a 25% discount. Like I said, you do check out online. Provide as much information for what you love and what you don't love so that they can get a better idea uh, for your next box. They also have a, a game called Style Shuffle on their website. You can do it every 24 hours and it just takes you through, you know, I don't know, a half, half a dozen items, sometimes more for different categories and to see what you love and what you don't. You give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, but it, I think it helps with color, pattern, style. You might not get those exact items, but it just helps guide the algorithm, which guides the stylist. Um, these days, it's not all style pick. You get this white envelope. In here is a card that says, oh, hello, and this is a little style note. I don't want to look at this just yet. Style note, and then your items with a little style tip, which we'll need that in just a moment. And then what nobody wants in their box is the invoice. And I do think this is fix number 50. So we need that for pricing. And I still have Maureen as my stylist. Um, I did, you do get a preview. Um, I rejected all the, I think all the items on the preview and said, start over. I didn't like any of them. So I think that could be a problem with this box because I don't know if, from what I just took out if I'm going to really like anything. So I see in this bag, and when you get shoes, they come in a bag like this general, I would say 99% of the time. So let's do these first and see what these are. Let's take out this little stuff in here. Are these navy or are these black? I think these are navy. Cute little shoe. I'll come a little closer. Like a belly flat type shoe. Bottom. Cute, cute bow. Nice interior squared off toe you can probably see that more on the bottom these are cute nice soft padding these are by uh 41 hawthorne um claudia stretch knit ballerina flat let me get the bracing sign so i have no idea how much these are uh, these are navy and these are ballerina flat yeah uh navy size six these are 59 dollars. that's very pricey and I won't try these on right now, but I'll put these on when I try a pair of pants on, or I will show them. Okay, so we'll come back to them. And let's just grab the first item right here. I don't like this style of shirt. It's not me whatsoever. And this is Mason and Bell Bobby Embroidered Tie Detail Top Burgundy Medium. Like I said, this is not me. Um, hemline is longer in the back, shorter in the front. This is a long sleeve, does have elastic. I mean, it's cute. It's just not something for me. And I don't like the embroidery in the front. So I will be right back and I'll try this on. 
The first item is Mason and Bell Bobby Embroidered Tie Detail Top. Burgundy Medium, $46. Um, and then I do have the Shoes on 41 Hawthorne um, Claudia Stretch Knit Ballerina Flat Navy Size 6, $59. I'll show you the shoe for, oops, first. Very cute. Very comfortable. I have this one on too. They're nice. I mean, could I wear them with shorts that I have on today? My heel is coming, flipping right out of the back. So I'll probably have to say a no on these. They just probably need to be that slightly bit tighter. Like that would bug me. Um, they would be cute with shorts. They would be cute with leggings, you know, jeans, really anything. I'm not a fan of this style top right here. I mean, it's cute. This doesn't really like bother me all that much. I'm not a fan of the embroidery, um, the sleeve tech. If you're, you know, taller, yeah, it's going to be three quarter. You know, you could blouse it up that way, leave it down. You know, you could bring it up and have it just blouse over. It's, you know, like a three, it's not even full length for me. It's like above my wrists. So it's probably like a three quarter sleeve, which it doesn't say. But, you know, here's the front, here's the side view. So you can see the slit and the back. I mean, it's cute. It's just, it's not me whatsoever. So I would never I owned a top this type of style. I think it was like turquoise, something like that. Wore it once or twice and was like, I'm uncomfortable in this. It just is not my personnel. So I'm going to save this for last because I don't like that at all. So I don't even want to try it on, but whatever. So we're going to move on to this next. 41 Hawthorne Hope Split Neck Blouse Teal Green Medium Petite. I'm like over these tops, honestly. This is uh, more like a cap sleeve. I mean, it's pretty. It's just, um, I'm over these. And I asked them to stop sending me the style. Um, I just don't need any more of this. And this is not a mixed material. So it has a nice little slit up the side. You know, like curved hemline, not a slit. So I will be right back with this top one. I have on the 41 Hawthorne Hope Split Neck Blouse. Teal green, medium, petite, $40. It's a cute top. It is. I just have so many styles like this that I just, I'm not going to keep it. Um, it would be great for now. I mean, the length is not bad. You could wear it with leggings, shorts, jeans, you know, dressed up. Here's the back. I mean, there's plenty of room in it. It's airy. You can see the side slit here. The cap sleeve is nice if you don't like sleeveless, and I do not. The V is perfect it's comfortable it's just I'm just over the style top and I don't I'm very casual you know I wear polo shirts t-shirts just comfy casual stuff this is yes it does dress up a pair of shorts and you know a pair of shoes and makes you more put together I don't need to be like I like I said I probably have 10 10 or 12 of this style top I just and that's why I rejected a lot of the other ones because they were a lot of the mixed material and this style and then they go ahead and send more this style um i this top here is like so not me this is like a tank underneath so i i'm not probably going to keep this so this is two tops in one number one i don't like this like eyelet stuff anyway so this is fortune and ivy uh genie front tie detail knit top off white medium um yeah i would say that's off white I don't like these sleeves. That's that's a one. That's not me whatsoever. I know there's a lot of puffy sleeves out there. I don't like that at all. Um, the actual outer top is not bad. This is too much. And then the white tank underneath. And here's the back. This I know I'm not going to like. I will try it on, but I, I know I don't like it right now. Kind of see the tank sneaking out the bottom. So let me come back and give this a shot. I have on the Fortune and Ivy Genie Front Tie Detail Knit Top. Off white medium, $40. I, I don't like this at all. I mean, if it was a different kind of sleeve, maybe. But I'm going to, and that's a broad maybe. I don't like this right here. It's too much. Um, you know, I didn't, you could, I would tuck the tank in normally. I don't like that the tank is not adjustable because then it's like, too low for me in the front like I would have to alter the strap like I didn't detach it because I know I'm not keeping it 
I kept it, you know, hooked. Um, if it didn't have all this in the front, it maybe just was straight across or like a cute little, like this you can untie yourself and it's just like a longer blouse type thing in the front, which I don't, would never leave it like that. I don't like that. I mean, it's not horrible, horrible. Uh, it's just not me. Like you can see the back. Um, I wish it was all like this wasn't here. Like it was all the same length. I don't mind the button detail. I would appreciate uh, um, an adjustable tank straps. And I, I, I'm not a fan of the sleeves whatsoever. So this is a big no, big, big no. And then next, it looks like, oh, we have pants. Okay, let me see these here. Oh, Democracy, one of my favorite brands. Where's the tag? That could be trouble. Democracy, Caressa Capri Skinny Jean Burgundy. These are a 10 petite. These are cute. Like, there's a cuff. And I guess somebody else tried them on and had the cuff down, which is good to know. Five pocket. Nice. Here's the back. And these are absolution. So inside you have some little bit of hold you in stuff, but nothing that you're like, oh, I can't breathe. It's just, just the right amount. Belt loops. These are cute. I don't know if I would wear that color, but we'll give them a try. Let me see. Does it have the democracy tag on the back? No. Nah. Nowhere. Okay, usually they have the D on like the back pocket, which I don't see anywhere. All right, so let's give these a try and see what, of course, I will take this top off, but let's see what these are like. So I have on the Democracy Caressa Skinny Capri Skinny Jean Dark Pink Ten Petite $74. They are very expensive. I can find Democracy cheaper on Nordstrom Rack every day of the week. These are adorable. The fit is good. They're a little you know, gapy because a lot of times an eight is better for me. Nice pocket placement. Um, the fit is good in the front and like the pockets, like a full pocket, not like these half pockets. I did un like left that one undone and it's pretty much like an ankle. Um, if I pull them down like a full length and then this is the Capri. I just fold it up. They're cute. Um, they're too big because they're falling down. Like there's too much uh, I've only had them on literally two minutes. I went to answer the door and came back up and I'm hiking them up. So I don't want to have to wear a belt if I don't have to. So these probably would need to be an eight. The shorts I'm in today are an eight, um, I think petite. The tens are iffy. Um, it really just depends, but I know, and they're, I don't know if they're Jag or Democracy shorts, but the eights seem to fit better. Uh, these days, you know, don't know that uh, for all the time. These are adorable, so I don't know what I'm going to do. These are expensive, so I would say probably not. But I wanted to share with you some items that I picked up. They were having a sale, um, big sale, I think 70% off. So I, so that's everything. I would let you know what before we do these. Now I'll do these and then we'll go over pricing. So here, I should have known better. This is a champion t-shirt and I got the medium. I think it was the only one they offered. And this, I'm not even going to try it on. I already know this is going to be too small. There's, I can tell by the way it's sitting on my body. It's just going to be tight. So this will go back, but it's adorable. It's like a dark pink, you know, just a regular tee. Really cute. I think it was like $11 for champion t-shirt. So I'm going to send that back and I get to send this back with my fix or I just pop it right back in this bag. There is a little receipt in there. Put the label on it and send it back and I'll include it with the fix. Now this is the bag that I am happy for and I tried that on already so I know it's too tight. I tried these on because if not I would I didn't have my fix yet. I was going to quick get them back. These here are leggings and I'm thrilled to death. These are under armor. And I remember them sending these to me a while back. So these are Under Armour Team 7 8th Ankle Cruff Performance Leggings. These are a large. So these are a little loose in the waist, but I don't care. Um, these were 14, either $14.97 or $15.97. I'll have that up on the screen for you. Beautiful legging. Beautiful. I think there's a pocket on one side, if I'm not mistaken. Yep one side and it's really deep so it would hold a lot when they sent these to me originally i think they were 50 60 dollars and i was like or 65 dollars. i was like i don't think so 
These were $14 or $15, and I had a $10 credit. You better believe I'm keeping these. I don't care that they're a large. Medium would have been better, but I don't think they offered them in a medium. And then the, oh, they're navy blue, and they just have that little Under Armour um, logo on it. I will try these on because I am keeping these. The top, pink top, I am not. It's just too tight, and I, I'm just not into showing all my lumps and bumps today. So that will definitely go back. And then once I, I will come back and try these on. So I have my own top still on, and I have the Under Armour leggings on. And I'll show you. These are practically full length for me, not three quarters. And I can technically bring them down off my waist a little bit. Love the pocket. And like I said, these are slightly loose, which is fine. A medium would have been a better option for me. I just love them. And I'm, I still have them, these exact ones, in my Amazon cart. Uh, in my wish list on Amazon, they're always out of stock, but they're $60, $70 on Amazon. And I'm like, $15, uh, I didn't care if I had a credit. I was buying them because I wanted them. They're nice. They're not real, like a shiny material, not overly. They're not compressive. They just feel like your skin, second skin. And I live in leggings in the fall and the winter and even the early spring. Um, you know, sometimes jeans, but if I can wear leggings every day, I'm wearing them. Put a top on, a t-shirt on. If I'm cold, I put a sweater on and I'm good. I stay in the house most of the time. If we have bad weather, I'm not going out in it if I don't need to. So these are definitely staying. It's a shame about the t-shirt because that would have been cute, like a cute outfit. Um, spring and fall, even I would wear it now because these are not real heavy and hot type leggings. So these are definitely staying. So right now, let's go over my Stitch Fix box. So the total stylus picks subtotal is $259. Buy all discount 25%. I would save $64.75. So that would practically pay for the democracy jeans, which I'm not going to keep. Um, and then they're still thinking I have a $10 credit, but I used it before. So it's $194.25. I like my initial box to be under $200. This way, when if you buy all it's about 150 160 not 190 so um, actually I can make this simple for everybody I'm not keeping anything in this box like I said in the beginning I in the preview said no to everything I just didn't like it so they had to repick everything so obviously this is a no-go these I do like not for the price and I know if I loved everything else then this would be a no-brainer because these would be you know ten dollars because I would have $64 off. So they're a no. I'll send back the pink t-shirt with this box. But here, this top here is just eyelet is a big no. It's, it's not me whatsoever. I'm just over these. I really am. This is cute. I do like it. The price was only $40, right? $40, which I'm saying only. It's but it's a 41, yeah, 41 Hawthorne. It's cute. I just don't need it. I have so many tops like that i this is not my style and every time i tell them stop sending me this like bohemian ish style tops i'm never going to keep them i don't like them these shoes are very very cute they're comfortable but my when i walk my heel comes out the back so whether these have been tried on way too many times i don't know they are size six which is my size they're just uh and i you know, I wouldn't go down any because then they'll be too tight. Um, these are adorable, but just if my heel is going to click out of it every time, I won't wear them. So I'm not keeping them. But these are adorable. I haven't gotten shoes in a long time. Um, and 59, they $59? Yeah, $59. That's a lot of money for a flat, but they're adorable. And I would wear them all year almost. Maybe not dead of winter to go out, but they're adorable. So, um... That's easy. I don't need, I'm going to quick get this box back and have another one start moving. I'm not keeping anything. The only thing I'm keeping is what I shopped, the Under Armour leggings. I was going to leave these on, but I'll put my shorts back on. It's so hot here today. I don't want leggings on. I'll put my uh, shorts back on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye now.